Hey guys, I'm John with Hops and Brews, and today we're going to be checking out Sweetwater's Georgia Brown Ale. Brown Ale. So, like I said, we're going to be checking out Sweetwater's Georgia Brown Ale. This is a year-round release for them. A brown ale. Really? I mean... That's cool. Actually, I, I, I really dig that. 99% of the time, what do we always get? Pails and IPAs. That's it. It's nice to have something different with a malt backbone. So let's check out what this beer has to offer. This beer comes in at a 5.8% ABV. A 30 IBUs, it gets an average rating on untapped of 3.55. A deep river of caramel and chocolate malts meandering through undercut currents of hot additions. Georgia Brown is part of our year-round lineup and is line priced with Sweetwater's other lip-smacking core styles. Malt stews are Turo, Munich, 70 over 80, Caprils, Chocolate, and Victory. Hops are Columbus and Willamette. All right, Sweetwater's Georgia Brown Ale. Well, uh, yeah, definitely looks like a brown ale. You have to put it to the light to see color. I like that. I mean, that's what's nice. There's a light hint of dark chocolatey brown at the bottom. What I really like too is that it's definitely more brown, not reddish, like a red ale style brown ale. This looks like a deep, almost porter esque style beer I and mean, it's basically a light porter based you know brown ales but i mean check it out it is it's dark head's khaki it's thick looking kind of got this little fluffed marshmallow look to it looks like it has a good stable head Ooh, you smell roastiness right off of the bat it's great smelling if you like a roasty style beer cheers oh that's good yeah, that's actually really nice. I'm not a big brown ale fan in general, but to be honest, it's kind of hard because they don't really make too many of them around here. I mean, I'm in the Pacific Northwest. It's hop country, so that's what we get. So this is a really nice change of pace. The body isn't light, but it isn't thick either. It's, it's like a heavy light and it's under 6%, but it's that nice, just drinkable ABV level. It's everything you probably want to strive for if you're trying to go for a brown ale. The roastiness is there. It's not overpowering. There's a hint of a nut and a hint of light chocolate. I can really see this beer showing its potential, especially right now during the colder weather. This I know is a year round release for them, but it feels more like a fall and winter style that should be pushed harder during those times. This isn't probably what I want during a nice hot barbecue and an 85 degree day. Um, now, there's times for that, great, but I really want something like this to drink while it's cold. This to me, I envision having with a nice warm hearty meal, like a stew, um, roast and potatoes and, and, and something along that, you know, that thick hearty meaty food. But it reminds me of fall and winter time without being like a spiced beer to where it's pumpkin spice or all spice or something for Christmas or winter or fall and whatever. I'm really digging it. It's it's nice. Now, Sweetwater's Georgia Brown Ale has been out for a long, long time. I even went back and checked some of my history and I've had this back in 2015. So it's been out for a while. However, Sweetwater just got bought out and they're really pushing to re-innovate themselves and i don't know if they're tweaking some of the recipes because i gave it like an okay rating this i'm enjoying more and it could just be more being a seasoned beer drinker that i'm enjoying it more it's nice to have something with a malt 
backbone with different flavor that's not bitter and IPA level type thing. I can even now think of this as like, yeah, I probably actually could have this with like a greasy pizza and hot sauce in this because this would complement it of spicy savory and I got this roasty chocolateness with it. It actually, I think might work pretty well. I'm just really digging this as like an alternative to just the IPAs and pale ales out there. Now, I wouldn't mind an Imperial version. That would be kind of cool, you know, like a seven and a half, eight percent of this. But really, then you're just talking it's a stout, <laughs> you know, um, why not just make a, a stout? But that is something I like about this is it is a yearly release. It is that lighter style, because when you get into the Imperial ones, you're like, I just want one. This I'm actually easily could have two and be fine. And when I remembered it's a year round release, that got me thinking, what other brown ale is a year round release? In fact, what other roasted malt is a year round release? And I can only think of one or only two that are actually made locally, but nationally wise. I mean, the only brown ale that comes to mind is, you know, Newcastle. And that's not even a brown ale, that's dyed. I mean, go look it up, it is. It, there's some weird ingredients in that beer. But this, Sweetwater, they're pushing hard and I think they're reinventing themselves. I know this beer has been around forever. It could just be my palate, but man, I'm really enjoying this one. Check out Sweetwater's Georgia Brown. Cheers guys. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. Like and subscribe, follow me on all my social media stuff. The links for all of those will be in the description below. Uh, we got merch, we got cool things in there as well. You can get this awesome etched glassware in the links. Um, well, I got t-shirts somewhere too. Go check all of that out. What's your favorite brown ale or alternative to IPAs or pale ales or lagers? Do you know one that's released year round locally to you? What is it? Is it nationally distributed or is it just local to you? Let me know in the comments below. See you guys.